delayed. The deadline for complying with San Diego's new short-term rental rules is fast approaching. But the city's not seeing the response for licenses it was expecting. Fox 5's Alani Latang is looking into this. She starts us off live from Ocean Beach with the latest. Alani. Andrew, Kathleen, the city has almost 2,000 of these licenses left, and these are for renters, excuse me, hosts that rent out their entire home or their entire space. They're the ones that need to have a license in order to operate here in the city of San Diego. And we spoke with some of them, and they say it's about balance between those that are renting and the neighborhood they're renting in. We've always been for sensible reasonable regulations. Greg Ross, the owner of Nancy's Vacation Rentals, is gearing up to become compliant with San Diego's short-term rental ordinance. He'll now need to post this license on the front window of all the whole home rentals he manages. I'm a real estate broker and I really believe in the bundle of rights and, and personal property rights. I don't feel that people should be able to tell you what you can do or not do with a property. And I do feel you have to be a, a respectful neighbor and, and, and a good neighbor to everybody around you. Starting May 1st, all short-term rental hosts that rent out their entire home will need to pay $1,000 for a two-year license. Maybe a, a, a price per bedroom for the fees for the ordinance for the for the license and things like that. I mean, it's 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 very inexpensive for a six bedroom house in La Jolla, but in a studio in, in Mission Beach, it's it's cost prohibitive in some circumstances. Hosts will risk a fee for being unlicensed. Councilmember Jennifer Campbell spearheaded the ordinance after several attempts in past years. So you have to comply because under the law, you must pay your TOT tax. You must have a business tax license. The city has issued 4,500 licenses for whole home rentals, but still has 1,900 available, except for in Mission Beach, who has a separate cap because of its popularity. The city conducted a lottery for rental licenses there. They issued the max. Now there's a wait list. Four of Ross's clients there missed the opportunity. Which puts them in a terrible position. Some of these people have been running for 20 years and it's their, their retirement, it's their livelihoods. Licenses are required for home sharing and only room rentals, but at a much lower cost, ranging from $100 to $225. Ross hopes the expanded licensing will lessen years of noise and party complaints. For property management slash owners that rent their own homes out, I think it's going to really tone those guys down and that's going to help for those people. As part of the ordinance, the city has money set aside that will help with enforcement, including hiring a consultant that will monitor and really identify people that are licensed and unlicensed on platforms like Verbo and Airbnb. Reporting live in Ocean Beach, I'm Alani Latang, Fox 5 News.